<laughs> I'm just glad I didn't get electrocuted. All righty. Welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where we unexpect the expected. <laughs> <laughs> this large basket, no, we're not doing a picnic. We are hell? doing the first ever Mythical Kitchen Mystery Basket Challenge. Now there are five ingredients in here chosen by Sporked from their five best things we ate this week series that they do lovely TikToks on. We love our sister wives over at Sporked. <laughs> now we have to team up and create a winning dish using all five of the mystery items in this basket. No, this is not derivative of any Food Network IP. We're calling this sliced. <laughs> Now please, Lily, open up the sliced basket. <laughs> Ooh, mushroom jerky. Tell okay. me a mushroom jerk this. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oreo thins. Oh. Extra, extra stuff. Wow. Even more stuff. How are you gonna make, yes. wait. <laughs> you tell you, you're making thick Oreo thins now? <laughs> we have the technology? Cholula Salsa, Salsa Verde Mild. I thought this would be kind of gimmicky. It wouldn't actually be that good, but it really stands up next to other Salsa Verdes. Number two on our list is this stone-fired white pizza from Newman's Own. This is unbelievable. The crust tastes like restaurant crust. The toppings are a little subdued, so I might add some stuff on my own, but this crust, I mean, really something special. Well, we got a regular old sliced basket <laughs> challenge going on here. Now what we gotta do is pick teams. Uh, nose goes Trevor. gets Trevor. What? What? Nose goes gets Trevor. Why, wait, why does he know? Did nobody play nose goes? <laughs> wait, no, 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 wait, hold on. How did you get Trevor? No, the last person, no, the last person. did not oh. touch their nose gets Trevor, okay. Oh, looks like it's me. Oh, Trevor, I know we sometimes play bully you, but it's really- I'm excited. That's a cook, it's just you have- lost. I set this bit up. Before I we started, I said, yeah. you guys should fight over who doesn't get me I because didn't I touch, suck. I didn't touch my And I have purpose. problems with insecurities, and I think that if we make jokes about them, then I don't have to face them. No, negative self-talk is an invective. Don't do it. All right, let's get cooking. <laughs> or as they say here on Sliced, let's do it. <clears throat> what the hell do we do? I don't know, there's so many sweet ingredients in here. Yeah, this is a tough basket. Um, I blame Jordan. Um, I know how much they love Oreo thins, extra stuff. Um, I see tomatillos. Yep. Those are from Mexico. Yeah. Chocolate, chocolatl in the native Nahuatl language. That's from Mexico. Caramel, <laughs> cajeta. That's from Mexico. Mexico. This is a thin crust pizza that's basically a tortilla. Yeah. That's from Mexico. Okay. This is just Meat. vegan ga carne Meat. seca. Yeah. Are we doing a Mexican dish? I'm just like, no, thinking? I didn't say we're doing a Mexican dish. You said we're doing a Mexican dish. I think dish. we should do a Mexican dish. Chocolate and chilies are a really great combination. You can get like a little bit of acid, a little bit of spice from that. Yep. Um, make some sort of creamy sauce. Uh, who the hell knows what we're gonna do with pizza. And yep. then like this you can use in any sort of like meat dish as a substitute, you can beef it out, you can add some extra umami, you can make a broth with it. You wanna, ooh, I do ooh. wanna try it, cause ooh. it is like. Who jerked stuff. all these mushrooms? It's good. I like it. Oh, it's like a savory raisin. I'm a vegan now. All right, I'm gonna start. Are you imagining like a slice like this or like a little hole at the top? I think you can just put the whole thing in there. I think you can just fry it till it's nice and soft. All right, I'm putting it in. I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, I'm just gonna start dicing an onion. We're going to onion and apple. So you basically start with like a like a picadillo, um, just like a delicious combination of like minced ground beef, various vegetables, fruits. If, if those start exploding, I feel run. like it's gonna, I'm gonna put a cover on it. I'm what? Scared. You do, you do. Don't let me tell you how to do your job. You know what I mean? You wanna peel that apple with your teeth for me? I'll, I'll find a peeler. I'll find a peeler. So I'm really confident in my execution strategy of this okay. dish. Are you confident in it? I I am. I'm like worried about this, like the Oreos. Yeah. What that's are we gonna, gonna do funky. with the Oreos? We didn't decide. Okay, so I think we make like a hot sauce, like a, ah, oh, I really fudged up the dice on this onion, dude. How did I do What that? are those knife cuts? I don't know. Uh, Oreos, okay, okay, okay. So we have like some acid from the tomatillo that we're gonna put in the filling, right? Mm -hmm. We're not gonna make a proper mole, of course, but I think we can just sort of accent like an ancho chili, you like ancho chipotle, which are two of like the fruitiest, smokiest. Oh god, my eyes smell so savory. Like oh, right what is that? Uh, why is that onion so good? It's really strong. Oh my god. It's really. Oh my god. All right, apples going in the pot. How do you oh, feel... I need mushroom. I need mushroom jerky. Yeah, this it's the key you ingredient. It up? Ooh, can you even chop it? I mean, sliced it. Yeah, don't say that. Do you think it's gonna come through though? Do you think the flavor's gonna come through? Should the mushrooms? we add more? Add more, add more. Do you wanna chop those mushrooms? I'm gonna start yeah, doing yeah, other yeah. stuff. So I'm gonna add some salsa verde into that. 
Oh, I should have browned the meat first. Dang it, whatever. Okay, wait, I need to check on these. Okay, yeah, they're starting to... When's this, when's this beef from in the fridge? Uh, yesterday. Close enough. Oh, spices. Where's, where's the spices? Find them. Where's the spices? That's what they here. do. They're here where they are. You know Food are. Network, which is a network I've never heard of? The producers literally tell you to run. No, check this out. I shot an unaired pilot on Food Network once, and the like host was like, all right, contestants, start cooking now. And we're like, great, thank you. And we started going, and the producers are like, boss, boss, everybody, come back. When he, when he says it's, it's time to start cooking, you gotta run. And I was like, we are in a restaurant galley style kitchen. There are deep fryers and knives. The guy was like, I don't care. Do you want to be a star? You're getting paid $200 to be here. And I was like, okay. Uh, and so next thing, you know, he was just like, all right, contestants, start cooking. We're all just like, yeah. Should we run? Yeah, we ran. We're just running and like, I'm running like hitting, hitting spin kind moves in between a fryer. Nightmare. There you go, Lily. Keep running, Lily. High knees, high knees. You want to be a Food Network star? Or do you want to get relegated to the cooking channel like all of our C-list talent? You want me to sprinkle? Yeah, sprinkle. Just, just like a scotch. Which one's that? A clove. Yeah, clove is powerful. Just like a little bit of clove. Okay, more than that, though. They're like 10 times more than that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Thank you. Cinnamon! Lily, run! C oh, oh, God, clove is so strong. Oh, my God. You that's told really me good. More. I know, I know. I messed up. That's good, right? But yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. This, this feel, this picadillo is looking pretty nice. Should we taste it? Let's taste it. Let's see if that mushroom jerky is coming out. You're like, ooh, you got a big chunk of almond. Oh, oh my God. Holy crap, that was hot. My mouth is more stronger than yours. Yeah, what happened? How did you do that? You're like an X-Man. I think this needs sweet. Really? Yeah. You want sugar? Yeah, what, wait, Run. do you have a stupid, put some, put some Oreo. It's sugar. Sugar? Oh, should we use like? I the... need sugar. What? He's I need me. sugar. I don't have it. Sugar. I need sugar. <laughs> what if I did this? Wait, wait, Lily, wait! I bought this for I my banana that. sandwiches. What'd you put in there? I put a cream. You put you put a cream? <laughs> what do you mean you put a cream? I put a stuff. Where did you find a cream? Okay, um, we have these peppers. Are they soft? Yeah. Can you peel them? Yeah. They're kind of hot though. Oh hell yeah, dude. Ow. Ow. Maybe if I put it in my mouth. Peel it in your mouth. So you got, like, people these cool tie a cherry stem in a knot with your tongue. I could peel a whole Pablano in my mouth. Check it out. <laughs> ah. Ah! 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 Okay. You like that, Food Network? That was an audition tape. Look how fast we can run in frantic. We got cast. Uh, uh, I need dried chilies. We're making a, a Oreo, chipotle, ancho hot sauce, ancho chilies, or dried chili drawers over here. Um, it's um, I think there's some, there. I think there's some in here. Hell yeah. yeah ancho. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is fun fact. Anchos are the dried version of those chilies. And another fun fact. Oh, another fun fact. In California, those are mislabeled as pasilla chilies in grocery stores for whatever reason. Some say it's like a northern Mexican slang, but every Mexican journalist I've talked to is like, dude, I don't know who said that. I think somebody messed up. But a pasilla chili is actually a dried version of chile chilhuacle. Who knew? I got milk right, in a pot. You got milk in a pot. <laughs> you making the walnut sauce? Yeah, I'm gonna just yeah. um, microwave this and speed it up. Usually cook the walnuts in the milk, right? But we're just gonna Ow. put yeah, it in chef Ow. Ow. God, I have such <laughs> soft teeth. Do we have any uh, uh, chili de arbol? Let me look. Chili de arbol is my favorite because they're just like small and nuclear. And arbol means bush. Uh. Can I try that cheesecake? Yeah. Are you a cheesecake beezy? A what? Cheesecake beezy. Is that a Gen Z it's thing? It's one of the many. Never laughed, he knows what that means. It's one of the many forms of beezies. You get a little bit of sourness from cream cheese. Some people throw cream cheese. And this fun fact, in Mexico, they call cream cheese Philadelphia. I'm gonna add um, some sour cream to this too. Yeah, yeah. Do you, does sour cream curdle when it gets hot? I don't think it would, but. How much Oreo do I throw in here? How much Oreo do you today. typically throw in? Hot sauce? Yeah. Like one and a half? Yeah. Idea, wrap it up in the pizza like a burrito. Fun fact, burrito means little donkey. Burro, donkey, burrito. Little donkey. So you're eating little donkey. And people don't exactly know why. Some people think that the original burritos were carried to, to I think it was silver mines uh, via donkeys. But then some people said, Bobby really knows. 
I'm adding more cheesecake to this. The word taco didn't really exist until like the mid 1800s. Um, Tamale is straight up like an indigenous word dating back 10,000 years. But taco? I got a video on. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm stuffing the pepper. I'm stuffing the pepper. This is looking good. It looks great. I think what I'm gonna try and do, mm -hmm. fold it and then plate seam side down. Wait. Seam side. Oh, it's, it's oh like a surprise God. one. Yeah, it's like a little surprise. You don't want to like show the effort. The idea of food pornography is actually defined by erasure of process. It's a very fun academic term from the 80s. Okay, so you're slicing that very thin. I'm slicing some frozen pizza. Hey, do you want me to slice the other side? Here, shift it to the middle and we can both slice at the same time. This seems safe. This is very safe. F Food Network, I mean, the ch network I've never heard of cares about safety. That's why everybody runs. We're taking all of the crusts and then we're going to fry them as a bit of like a, sort of like a bird's nest situation. Maybe like have this resting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh God, I touched the fryer. There we go. And then, and then, and then now we're gonna take our Nogata sauce. Wow. Look at that, luscious. There we go. Beautiful. And a garnish, we need garnish, chef. I found some parsley. Boom. It's cute. It's cute? No, no guy ever wants, you know, show someone something and then someone goes, it's cute. We have our Newman's Own White Pizza Crispy Bird's Nest with our Cholula Salsa Verde Picadillo filling stuffed inside a fried poblano pepper with our salted caramel cheesecake walnut and nogada sauce and then an Oreo Chipotle hot sauce. Run! All right, so these ingredients are, are BS. Can I just say that? Yeah. Uh, we're supposed to make a dish out of these five things. Yeah! It's really, I don't, I don't even know what direction to go in. Let me just get, I need to see what we're working with here. So this is an Oreo thin extra stuffed, also known as a regular Oreo. No, this is phenomenal. This is so much better than a regular Oreo. Oh my God. Okay, they're right. Go check out spork.com. This is genius. I think we should get a little bit experimental with it. Yeah. Try to kick Lily and Josh out of the water. Yeah, we're gonna kick them out of the, how do you do, cause that's like, it feels like it's harder to get force when you're underwater. So it would be more like throwing them maybe out of the water. Throw, we're gonna throw them out of the water. Blow them out of, we're gonna blow them oh, out of the water. We're gonna blow them out of the water like a submarine. <laughs> what do you wanna do? What do you think, protein. Duck. That's good, they put sweet stuff on ducks sometimes. Yeah, that's, and that's, gotta, yeah, yeah, that's the mentality. It's yeah, like yeah. a French thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think we should, we, should, we should honestly amplify these two ingredients instead of hide them. Maybe we do a little, a little, um, a little mushroom jus. A mushroom jus. Thought, a little mushroom jus. You okay, make a little, okay. little so, something savory nice. there. Nice, okay, that's good. Uh, what do we do with the salsa? You'll find out after these messages. Welcome to Slice. Slice, the show that is on YouTube and not a channel on, on network television. That's right. Hey, Nicole, you're not gonna ducking believe this. Sorry, autocorrect. You're not gonna ducking believe this. Sorry, autocorrect. You're not gonna fucking believe this. What, what is it, what is it? <laughs> um, I have duck breasts. And no check way. this out, it's actually cool. They're the exact same size, 1.01 pounds. That's insanity. Same size boobies. Are on they the, the same price? Yeah. Well, that's how generally that works. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's pound. like so I'm gonna get some. Oh, nice. That <laughs> the pan's hot. That's good stuff. So I'm gonna get a little bit of water in there. Nice. Um, I'm gonna add a bunch of this mushroom jerky. See if we can get, get some it moving. Mushroom flavor coming out. Nice. And this is salt and pepper. So it's already seasoned. That's. Is there any soy sauce in there? No meat, no soy, just shrooms. So. Is that is that like their tagline? That's what it says on the thing. That's really funny. Yeah. Um, okay, what's that? I've got a classic French demi-gloss, pre-packaged. Oh, shoot, okay, secret ingredient <laughs> time. If you ever want your food to taste like it's from a restaurant, use demi-gloss. It's like, it's almost like a stock that's cooked down so that it's super gelatinous, but this one's made with beef and veal, which and I am super into. Yeah. Look at this guy on here, this is so funny. Morgan, I don't know if you can get this in like 4K, this is the funniest thing ever. Look at this dude on here. Why is it funny? I don't know, he just looks hilarious. What's his name? It's like he's so snooty about it. You would think that the cheesecake and the Oreos would be the hard part, like for me. I can see in my head some ways that those might work. I have no idea how to fit a frozen pizza in here. I think so. we gotta use it as an ingredient instead of like a, a part of the dish. Yeah. Well, that's what that's what Josh and Lee did. They only used the yeah, crust. I think that's fine, yeah. I think that's fine, yeah. This is cooking. I really can't get behind this mushroom jerky. It's left a very awful taste in my mouth. 
I'm sorry and about that. now I'm gonna be sad for the rest. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna start scoring this a little bit and then I'm gonna do a little diamond shape. Very important mm. when you score, you don't wanna go all the way to the flesh, you know, you just wanna okay. do a nice little light score. Is this the spatula that you were using? Yeah, it was. Can you see this? Yeah, of course. I just wanna look, this is, okay, so the, the shocking, shocking development. The pizza crust is getting soggy. I'm cooking up some chili powder with this I've, here duck breast. I've been listening to a lot of like conspiracy theory. Not, not, not conspiracy theory, it's real. <laughs> um, <coughs> How can it be real if it's a conspiracy theory? <coughs> 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 Have you heard of the men in black? I'm just gonna be taking some of this Cholula mild and I'm just basting my, my duck breast with it, almost like a lacquer so it can get a nice beautiful sheen on it. Nice. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so. No we way. We pulled out our duck breast and it's looking it's looking beautiful. I was gonna say gorgeous, beautiful and gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> beautiful and gorgeous. It's a nice, it's a nice sear. You can see it's nice and brown and delicious. It's not golden brown, it's brown brown, but it's still perfect. This smells really nice. Yeah, it smells, it smells, nice. it smells nice and intense, which I like. I got the jus. Okay. It's, it's smooth though. That's that's good. It's, it that's like good. looks like it has a good texture. I'm worried about how it's gonna. Okay, that was fast. You don't like it. It needs salt. Yeah, it needs salt. It needs a lot of salt. It needs it needs it to needs... not have mushroom turkey <laughs> also in it. Also that, um, but it needs a lot. <laughs> yeah, maybe some pepper. What can we save this with? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what can we save Prayer. this with? Prayer. Uh, surely there's like a spice that we can use. <laughs> yeah, surely. <laughs> Uh, smoked paprika, nope. uh, 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 onion powder, fenugreek. No. Okay, you're honestly being too <laughs> dramatic right now. While you're coughing, I'm not. Up, okay, while you're coughing up a storm, why don't you put some pumpernickel? Oh, you had an extra wah 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 wah. Do you hearing me? Do you hearing me? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I say we make like some sort of like really fancy like soil, like an Oreo soil to go on with her. Okay, <laughs> yeah. You've, you've made a couple soils, I think, on the channel before. I think it's kind of, it's something, it's a theme, I, bit of a I've theme made you a like. soil more than once? I think you've made at least one soil before. Have I? Wow, I'm yeah. so predictable. <laughs> I'm gonna do something a little crazy. I'm gonna make a smoked caramel Bernays. Oh my God, shut up. <laughs> and it's gonna be so good, you have no idea. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be wow. a trip. This is French as frick. If the French <laughs> loved Oreo thins and Newman's own white pizzas. <laughs> You've cracked two yolks. I apologize to every French person that I've ever met. Yeah, this for my, is, is kind of Jover. For my, Jover? Yeah. What does that mean? It's, God, you can't make me explain Jover right now on the show. What does Jover mean? I'll just have to show you. Give me one second. I'm waiting for the pumpernickel anyway. Yeah. Morgan, okay, you're gonna want to get this when I have as it. As I whisk. Entertain me as I whisk. Yeah, hold on. Okay, so here we go. I'll show What's Nicole up, in a second. It's Jover. Can I see? I want to be a part of the group. Oh, it's like Joe Biden. <laughs> what What are your thoughts on if um, I eat a couple more? You can eat as many as you want, as long as the pumpernickel bread is getting nice and toasty. I don't mind, even in the slightest. Is it worth it for the bit? Yeah. To eat what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, how many seven, you can fit eight, in your mouth? I can go for 10, I think. If I didn't have nails on, I could fit my whole fist in my mouth. Married. <laughs> I gotta take two off, we're going eight. <laughs> huh? Wow, you can get married too. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> For someone who hasn't Sizzle. made a hollandaise in a few years, it's looking pretty good. Oh Quite man, impressive. why do we have so much avocado oil? <laughs> That's my fault. No seed oils. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, robust garlic. No! Frick it. We're doing this one. one oh, there was a bottle there the whole time. <laughs> All right, cooking technique, I've plugged in. I didn't get a big enough sheet tray. <laughs> Just cut, no. Oh no, I go sideways, sideways. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, got a little bit of olive oil on the Oreo, that's okay. Wow. You're Welcome to Slice. <laughs> I'm gonna take a big, big old hunk of this cheesecake and I'm just gonna mix it into this hollandaise sauce. Do you want me to roast the rest of the asparagus? No, or I what's the need, word here? I think we just need a few. I think it's just for prettiness on the plate. Oh, it's not well, I like, got like a lot in there. That's okay, that's fine. 
I'm gonna go wash my hands. I, that sounds like a great idea. Oh, my freaking nipple. The water got right on my nipple. And now my nipple is cold and, and it's just the right one. So now I feel all off kilter. Okay. Asparagus, like Bring the veggie out. tail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there an asparagus? I believe there, I think there's all sorts of vegetables. No way, I've tails. never seen yeah, a veggie I tail. there are. That's incredible. Um, Carrots as well. Carrots as well. And then if there's wow. Bob the tomato and Larry the cucumber, mm -hmm. and if you like to talk to tomatoes. Oh, this is dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, shove it in there, man. Are we impressed with what we've done here? Not really. Is it gonna taste good? Probably not. But did we try our best? And did we try our best and make sure that we had fun along the way? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, duck breast is a beautiful medium rare. How many of these seeds do you think? Four surprise or five? Surprise me, surprise me. <laughs> Measure with your heart or whatever. This is gonna suck too. Ah, <laughs> we're gonna lose. You know what matters? Like I said, this dish is going to be horrific, but you know what's not horrific? The memories. <laughs> KG found me a Diet Coke, shout out to Kate. Glad I didn't get electrocuted. All righty. So here's this duck jus. We're just gonna go ahead and lay it in the middle like this. Really yeah, yeah, pretty good, right? Did you add more stuff to that? Or? I added a little bit of Dijon mustard and it ruined it. Just a touch of Dijon. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna put. Hmm. Yo, where's it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can have that as a snack. We're gonna add our duck breast right there. A little bit of. Hmm, I'm gonna f fan. This we should just do three, right? Yeah, just three. Just three. <laughs> this is hilarious. Yeah, right? Okay. And then, um. It's look like a fingers. Throw some, throw some soil on there, man. It's salad fingers. Creative, just, okay. creative soil. Uh huh. Nice, wow. <laughs> You're doing a really good job. It's like dirt on the plate. It's so much dirt. Welcome to culinary school, B. Josh and Lily got a big old pepper on a plate. <laughs> we got two sauces! We got crap. There you have it. Cholula duck breast with Oreo soil, mushroom jus, and cheesecake bernays. Jordan Meyer from spork.com. We have two dishes in front of you that have both been cooked with your five favorite items that you ate this week. Nice, these look beautiful. Thank, Thank you. You. <laughs> you can eat whichever one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'll start on this side. Um, is this a chili relleno? Uh, technically yes, but it is uh, more specifically a chili and nogada. So we made a nogada sauce, a walnut sauce with the salted caramel cheesecake. And then the salsa verde is inside the filling where we also have apples, ground beef, and the mushroom jerky is on a nest of fried Newman's own shaved pizza crust How for fun. texture. The hot sauce has the Oreos, the bunch of ancho chili. That's delicious. Wow, the sauce is like nutty, but spicy. Should have some sweetness coming through from that cheesecake in there. It does, sauce. but it doesn't taste like the cheesecake. I've eaten all these items separately. Wow. And these Newman's on pizza crust bites? I'm impressed. Hey, thank you. So for you today, Jordan, we have a Cholula duck breast with a mushroom jus, a um, salted caramel Bernays, and Oreo crumble. Please enjoy. Mmm, I love Bernays. We use the Newman's own pizza crust in the jus that's to right. thick, thicken it. Yeah, okay. that's right. And the crumbs, they're just straight up Oreo? So it's Oreo, pumpernickel, and warm spices. Oh, interesting, okay. Yeah. The asparagus sure. is normal. Are there yeah. tarragon and shallots in your Bernays? No. It seems more of a hollandaise to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good too. No oh, way! I'm surprised! <laughs> <laughs> no, all together it's good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a win, we baby. Won, That's won. a win. A everything reads sweet separately, mm -hmm. but with the duck, it actually kind of balances it out. It's but it gives it like a savory saltiness, brings it together. Okay. So yeah, when I'm tasting the sauces separately, I'm like, this tastes like a dessert sauce. Sure. But yeah, much better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Same. Same. Because <laughs> I tasted again. the sauces and I spit both of them out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't think it's worth that. Um, but this doesn't taste like it has blended up pizza in it, you know? And so sure. I think that's a huge win. Jordan, do you feel you have enough information to crown a winner of today's first ever sliced mystery basket challenge brought to you by spork.com? I do. Jordan, in three, two, wait, no, hold on, I messed it up. Jordan, hi, <laughs> you will put your hand over the winning dish in three, two, one, let's go! I don't care. Yeah. Run! 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 There's still part of us. I, I think we did awesome. I think we did so good. I think we did so good.
I think we did such an we incredible won job. We yeah. won friendship. Yes, and I we're, think that's worth it. We're better friends than Josh and Lily. Yeah, and we, feel like real win. we feel we like winners. We feel like winners. Thank you. You'll never understand. I love that, and I'm best friends with all four of you. <laughs> oh yeah, um, that's so true. That's oh. cute. Both are great, but this one just, this one, everything tasted good separately. Sure. This one, everything only tasted good together. Fair. So that gave this one a slight edge, but honestly, I liked both. So thank you so much. Crazy. Thank That's you so much, so Jordan. Much. We appreciate it, it when you come. Here. Jordan, thank you so much. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. Okay. That's oh. nice. Thank you so much for that. That was a nice moment for me. All right, make sure you check out sports.com for all of your grocery needs. <laughs> and see, Jordan, we're close now. I know, we've always been close. Bye. Do you need help finding the best store-bought foods? Head over to Spork.com to check out the five best things they eat every week.